So here I am in an X4M competition pack. This car was provided to us by Prestige Marks and we're using this for the episode we'll be airing on Monday. So don't miss out because this car is incredible and the house we're going to be showcasing with it is so different from anything else we've ever done. You don't want to miss out. But I thought while we've got the car and we're cruising around the streets of Johannesburg, let's take a look back on how far we've come. When we launched this show, we had done nothing like it before and we decided to jump into the deep end and see where it would take us. And I love the fact and I appreciate the fact that all of you jumped on with us and have been supporting us ever since. You've tuned into every single episode. You've given us your views. You've jumped in the comments and I love it. We've come so far and we've got so far to go still. We want to keep taking the show from strength to strength. But let's take a look way back when, when we started the show off. Let's take a look at the first show. This was, this first episode was in Bryanston. We were showcasing this really homey, uh, really vibey, double volume ceilings, plenty of light, plenty of air from those windows. This was a perfect starter home. They'd done everything right with the loft, with that exposed brick fireplace, with all the little accents and the little touches, as well as a pool that wasn't too big for a starter family that still wants to lock up and go to utilize. It was a really cool home. Tell me what you think about it. Tell me out of these three homes we're going to showcase, which one's your favorite. But this one was a huge learning curve for me. So take a look, tell us what you think. Here we are with the second home. Now this was a huge ranch style home. It was so big. If I recall correctly, I think it was something like six bedrooms and seven bathrooms. We'd never done anything like this before. And I remember the owner pulling me aside and saying they wanted something smaller. They were, they were moving overseas. They wanted something smaller. And he hadn't even, even been in some of his bedrooms. So that's a different lifestyle there. Um, but we went into all those bedrooms, we went into all the bathrooms. We took a look at the garden, we ran around the pool. I think I even jumped in the pool. I didn't pack my costume. Terrible of me. Didn't pack my costume. So I was even in the pool, if you remember. Pants pulled up around my ankles, splashing about, waving at the drone, saying goodbye to you guys. But it was also a very cool home. A lot of you loved it. Um, I also really did like it. I thought it felt like you weren't even in Joburg, even though you were still in the heart of Bryanston. So that was really something super cool about it, super special. And those floors, organic bamboo floors, I'll never forget when he told me that. One of my favorite features still to this day.
Now this is the final home we're showcasing in our Way Back When Machine episode. But this was the first home that was really a mansion for us. This was the first home where we were actually like, wow, this place is huge. And also, wow, look at what South Africa has to offer. Look at what Santon has to offer, what Ryanton has to offer. Look at what's out there. Um, it was quite a challenging film. The, the owners were in the process of moving. So we wanted to give you something that was really cool and really exciting, but still showcase this home to all of its strengths. So we learned a lot doing this, but what a home. This had more rooms than I could count. It had some really awesome views of Santon City. We loved it. The main master bedroom was gigantic, but then it also had the cigar lounge and the entertainment lounge and the actual lounge and the pajama lounge. That's living at its finest. Um, again, central, right in the middle of Bryanston. Man, it was just so much fun going through these homes. They were so different. They were our first three homes that we ever, felt, uh, that we ever formed. And was the start of something that's going on today guys i love that you've tuned into every episode and i can't wait for you to see what we bring to you on monday because it's even better it's even cooler tell me what you think about the fact that we've added cars into these episodes but stick with us the home shopper show it's a show that constantly makes all of us feel like we are not earning enough money but it still keeps us coming back it's so cool to see what's out there and we cannot wait to continue this journey with all of you on the private property show